I'm Tony Haynes, and this gentleman next to me is Frisman Jackson, the new wide receivers coach at NC State University. You and I just met. May I call you Frizz? Yes, you can. That's, that's what everyone calls me, so uh, I feel more comfortable when people call me Frizz. Well, welcome to NC State, Frizz. Thank you. I'm is, excited to be here. Is there a story behind the name Frisman? Yeah, uh, my mom couldn't think of a name to save her life to name me uh, when, when she was pregnant with me. Uh, and she, One night she had a dream, and Frisman came to her head, and and then that was the name she came up with. And for a long time in my life growing up, I hated the name Frisman. Mm -hmm. I always wanted to change it. And then the moment I played football and I heard an announcer say Frisman Jackson, I was mm -hmm. like, okay, that sounds pretty good. And nobody ever forgets Frisman, No, right? no one forgets mm -hmm. that one. It's a hard name to forget. When you were playing in the NFL and Frisman Jackson makes a catch. They know it. Yeah, we don't forget about <laughs> Frisman Jackson. Yeah. You knew one of our former receivers here, Jericho Cotri, right? Yeah, uh, me and Jericho actually played together uh, while I was playing with the Jets. Great guy. Mm -hmm. Uh, bragged a lot about NC State. I had to hear a lot about it in the locker room. Uh, we spent it during our times in the locker room. Uh, great player. Uh, did a great job for the Jets, and I know he had a heck of a career here at NC State. So I would love to get in contact with him and try to get him <laughs> back up here and come be a part of this thing. I'm sure he's very excited that you've landed at NC State, playing the NFL with the Jets and the Browns. And let's face it, every guy that you will coach at NC State in college that's where they want to be. Yeah. They want to play in the league. Does that give you a little bit more credibility as a coach because you had a chance to play at that level? Um, yeah, I, I think so. Uh, you know, I'm able to tell the guys exactly how it is up there, what kind of things you have to work on as a player to get to that level, and uh, what type of things you have to do to stay there because that's the most important thing is once you get there, now the hard part is staying there. Mm -hmm. And I just want to teach guys the skills and the necessary fundamentals they need to stay. And, uh, you know, first and foremost, to win games here in college and get better as a college player. but to showcase those skills to get an opportunity to play on Sundays. I think you're in the right place because NC State's been referred to as wide receiver U. Okay. We've had some pretty good. Torrey Holt. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, bad. I played against him, yeah. yeah. Corin Robinson uh, was a good one. We, yeah. we mentioned Jericho Cotri. You go all the way back to Haywood Jeffries. Some great receivers have been here. And the reason I mentioned those guys, what would you say separates the great receivers from those who are just nah, good receivers? You know, it's, it's an old adage, but uh, putting in more work than the guy next to you. Um, going out every day, working, staying late, you know, getting in early, watching tape, just studying the game, and I always tell my guys to really work on their craft because this is your craft. And mm -hmm. no matter what you do in life, you want to you want to you want to work on your craft and get better at your craft. And if you spend time doing that, you, know, you can become a great player. And I, to mm -hmm. me, that separates the great players from the good ones. Coaching's a crazy business. It yeah. can be a tough business, of course, uh, but you decided to take the leap of faith. What prompted you to get into coaching? Um well, when I retired in 2008 from uh, playing, I had no clue what I wanted to do. I actually took the LSAT. To, I thought I was going to be a lawyer. And my wife kind of hit me over the head and said, that's not what you really want to do. Uh, you want to you want to mold young men and, and, and coach young men. And, and you had positive influence in your mm -hmm. life. And they were all coaches. And, you know, that's what I decided I wanted to do. And, and it, it's worked out for me. How about Dave Doran? Uh, why, why is he so successful? To me, he's the player's coach. Uh, the players love him. The players will play hard for him. Uh, he's fair to the players, and, you know, that's one of the things I liked about him was how he treated the players, and he treats them fair. And that, as a player, as a former player, re, uh, recently, that's how you want to be treated. And that's why I enjoyed jo uh, coaching under him, and that's why I wanted to join him here at NC State because I believed in the philosophy he had with the players. There he is, President Jackson. You can call him Frizz. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Appreciate it.